Hey guys, Stephen Bogren here from Pro Physique. Today, what I want to talk about is what is the best kind of cardio. Ooh yeah. What's up guys? Does it look like I, do I got a little shiner going on here? I got a little shiner? Uh, just a little bit. Uh, so, because <laughs> I know y'all are going to ask. Um, <clears throat> it's essentially, I was rolling at jujitsu. Somebody caught me with an accidental elbow in the face. They kicked me in the nuts also. Things happen sometimes. So no, I'm not getting into street fights. I'm not beating people up or getting beat up. <clears throat> um, just, you know, training. Training, 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 doing everything. So, uh, you know, speaking of jujitsu, because that's kind of what I like to do for cardio, that's my best cardio. Uh, let's talk about the question of best cardio, <clears throat> because I think it's definitely, it's a good question. And there's some things that I think that I would very much so like to address in sort of my preferences of how I like to prep people um, and do things. And so, <clears throat> I know Paul put out a video on hit cardio the other day, um, and if you watched it, you know how he kind of utilizes it, and he, <clears throat> we can utilize it at the beginning of a prep, but we get rid of it towards the end of a prep. I agree with that. It can be very, very difficult to recover from. So, <clears throat> I still like hit cardio for either normal fat loss phases, people who respond very well to it, <clears throat> or at the beginning of prep to utilize something that's a little bit less time intensive. I think that's a great option there. But when it really comes down to it is what cardio is the best cardio, it's the cardio that you'll do. Uh, <clears throat> cop out answer. Uh, <laughs> yes, got you suckers. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, it's the cardio that you do. Um, if you absolutely hate uh, being on the treadmill and incline walking, well, it's probably not super uh, productive for me to ask you to go sit on the treadmill and incline walk. Um, if you hate the Stairmaster, not really realistic for me to say, hey, let's go do fucking 45 minute sessions on the Stairmaster. Um, you know, just real talk, son, huh? dog, person, dog. Anyways, <clears throat> just like, hey, it's great. <clears throat> I live in sunny Florida, right? Tampa Bay, Florida. <clears throat> I can go outside and do my cardio all year round. <clears throat> I also have this sh crap pollen, this shit pollen to deal with, right? Um, so. Yes, I have different options. If you're in Baltimore right now, it might be snowing, it might be gross, you might live in a place where it's not really safe to go outside and do cardio. That might be a non-option, right? So what's the best kind of cardio? First and foremost, the cardio that you will do, okay? Cardio that you will do and that you can kind of enjoy. Now, there's a lot of things we can do to moderate cardio, whether it's watching YouTube, your favorite YouTube personality. <laughs> not me is it anyways don't just lie to me give me sweet sweet lies um, <clears throat> listening to podcasts listening to music um, you know doing cardio with friends having conversations those kinds of things yes those all help to moderate but if we're prepping we're dieting hard we're aggressive we're doing a lot of cardio now there definitely comes a change that we need to see uh, in terms of my opinion for what we want to do with cardio now <clears throat> I know a lot of people love the stairs. They absolutely like Stairmaster, yes! Um, I actually fucking hate the Stairmaster. I, I hate it so much. Um, and it's not because of the fact of like me personally, like no, yes, I don't like the Stairmaster, but I don't like the Stairmaster for my clients either. And so what I typically tend to tell them uh, in reference to Stairmaster is no more than two, at most three sessions per week. Here's why. Yes, I know you love the Stairmaster. Let me explain it. Just, just let me explain it, okay? Um, Thank you, thank you. Uh, the reason why is it's, it's terror on your legs. Like, think about the difference in terms of how much it puts stress on the musculature of your legs for doing a 45 or an hour minute Stairmaster session versus incline walking for 45 minutes or an hour. Um, it's very, very fatigue heavy. Um, so. The reason that I dislike Stairmaster and lots of Stairmaster um, is simply because it makes it very difficult for you to recover. Um, if it's difficult for you to recover, your training sessions not suffer. Um, if your training sessions suffer, you're getting a lot less calorie expenditure in them and from recovery there. Um, 
and I don't think it's worth it. I don't think that any extra calories burned on Stairmaster versus uh, treadmill walking or spin bike or elliptical, whatever other modality it may be, um, I don't think that it's worth it. Um, I think that the soreness um, and then you know the inability to recover and the fatigue index that we see coming from that, um, they don't balance out. It's not worth it. So <clears throat> I'm not a big fan of the Stairmaster, especially if we're doing a lot of cardio and dieting aggressively. Um, now, as Paul, I also phase hit cardio out as we get closer to show dates, um, simply because of the fact, again, I want you to be able to recover. I want your training to be good. That's my main concern is your training. I wanna do everything that we can to set you up to keep all the muscle that we can during a dieting phase. <gasps> Whew, hard, tough, breath, breathe. Okay, um, but that being said, I still want us to make sure that we bring in the right conditioning too. That's why I like to use steady state cardio. Now, as boring and lame and drudgeristically, I don't think that's a word, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter, I said it, it's out there, it's done. I'm not editing it out. Um, as drudgeristically as it is, fucking incline treadmill is awesome. Um, it's very easy to do, it's very easy to recover from, it's not gonna put a ton of stress on the musculature of the legs, and you can still continue to go on and train. Um, you know, uh, spin bike stuff, also pretty good. Problem I find for a lot of people is, you know, the seat becomes uncomfortable, right? Uh, elliptical, still really good. Going outdoor, hiking, walking, those sort of things. I really like the outdoor stuff if you can manage it too, because it also doubles the stress management. Like green exercise, we know if we're out in nature and enjoying the beautiful things of the creation and mother stuff, green things, like it just, it makes us feel better, right? So it, it's a nice thing to enjoy sort of green exercise once in a while too, if we can manage it. So for those of you who live, you know, in Florida, maybe you go for a, a run or a walk on Bayshore Boulevard, right? Um, and we can do those sorts of things <clears throat> to help sort of incorporate that extra calorie expenditure, but also make sure that we're doing the right things so that you are in fact still recovering from your training sessions, right? So I know that that didn't really answer the question of, is there a best cardio? Well, fuck. Yeah, I, I think there's a best cardio. What I would prefer for you to do, incline walk on the treadmill. Very simple, very easy, very boring, very drudgery. Um, but this is kind of how it is, right? At the end of the day, do we care more about making sure that we're ready for stage or that we're hitting that goal physique? Um, or do we care more about, you know, <clears throat> the part of the process that we have to do to do it? So now, if you really hate the treadmill, don't do the treadmill all the time work some different things in, get some different modalities so that you're not just like hating the entire process. It is absolutely important that you enjoy the process as much as possible. Um, however, make sure that you're also paying attention to things like not overdoing it, your recovery, making sure that you're still making progress but not <clears throat> giving up all of your gains necessary to do it. So a little bit short of a video this week, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. That's what I think the best cardio is.